everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah, and today's video is gonna be a clean and declutter motivational video. I'm gonna be cleaning the kitchen, cleaning in the family room, as well as decluttering one of the cabinets we have in the family room that I've been wanting to do for several months. And then I'm also gonna do some decluttering of my clothes as well as the kids' clothes, because they definitely need to be done, because I'm noticing my son is down to only a few shirts that fit him, so I think now is the time to bring in some of the bigger clothes. So if you do enjoy today's video, please do give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel. And I hope you find some motivation in my video today. I do have a lifestyle channel, so I do some cleaning, organization, and decluttering motivation. I hope you enjoy it. Once breakfast is over, I'd like to start unloading the dishwasher, drying dishes, and then washing any breakfast dishes that can't go in the dishwasher. I just find that doing this first thing makes it easier to keep up with the rest of the dishes for the rest of the day. I highly recommend this Dyson cordless vacuum. It has been so great for our family because with young kids, we're constantly having to vacuum up the floor because there's continually crumbs all over the floor. So it has made our life so much easier when it comes to keeping our floors clean. I have been wanting to go through this cabinet for so long, but because I don't see into it, it doesn't seem to be a priority. So today I decided was the day that I was gonna go through everything in here and declutter it because it was just so jammed full and I couldn't really tell you what was in there until I went through it. We have kept a few DVDs up here, but since we don't really use our DVD player much and most of these are on a streaming service of some sort, I just decided to put the DVDs back downstairs until we decide to watch them again. And we also have a bunch of cassette tapes as we do have a cassette player, so I have a bunch of kids stuff on there, but for now I'm just gonna put them in the storage room in the basement. Now that I've emptied this out a bit, I now have room to put all our photo books there. 
I usually have them in the coffee table, but I don't want the kids to wreck them or rip any pages out. So for now, they are in this cabinet, which does have a bit of a lock on it, system on it, so the kids cannot get into it. It is amazing the things that I have found that we have held on to in boxes of things that we no longer need, like cords and headphones. We have so many, many of them either don't work or for things that we no longer have or the headphones are completely worn out that I don't know why we've been keeping them. So it's good that we finally went through this today and downsized it from two boxes to one. When I went through this pile, I really thought hard while I wear it again. Is it something I've had for a long time that I don't think is my style anymore? And once I was all done, I only kept three items from that pile, which I was very proud of myself because I'm the type of person that would often hold on to something because I might wear it again. Next, I went through all the boys' clothes. I noticed especially my youngest had, was down to only a few t-shirts and a few sweatshirts and everything because he had grown out of a lot of his stuff and I hadn't put the neck size up in there. So I put all the neck size up clothes in, took out anything that was too small and did the same thing for my oldest as well.
went through my daughter's dresser, which took a bit more time because I had to go through first and get out any clothes that she had outgrown. And then she has a whole cup bin of spring and summer clothes that I went through and put in her drawers. And then I took out any winter clothes that do still fit, but it's not the right season for right now as it's starting to get warmer. She does have a huge collection of clothes because we've been very lucky to get a lot of secondhand clothes from friends for her. So she does have a very extensive wardrobe, but I think she likes having all the choices every day to pick from. So she's very lucky. Once I finished organizing all their dressers, it just felt so good to get it done and I was pleased with the end result because now they feel organized and I know that all the clothes in their dressers all fit them now and are in season so it's great to get this kind of thing done this time of year. Once I was done, I could not believe the size of this pile. So once I finished all this, I did sort through all the clothes. I sorted them into piles of giving away to friends, donating to the thrift store, keeping some clothes for my siblings for whenever the time is they have children, and then keeping a pile of the clothes of my oldest clothes for when my youngest can fit them. So I like to get this all sorted out so I can bag them, box them up any of the stuff that we're keeping, and then get everything ready to donate. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found some motivation to clean and declutter your home. If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel to see future content from me. And I do post videos every Wednesday. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.